Well, a parabola, it's the set of all points that are equidistant from a given point called the focus and a given line called the directrix. So what this means is that if you pick a point on the parabola, if you measure that distance to the focus, and you then measure that perpendicular distance to the directrix, these distances have to be the same. Now notice as you go further out on the parabola, say for example over here, this distance is gonna be longer, but so is that perpendicular distance to the directrix. Or for example here, that distance is shorter, but so is the distance to the directrix. So that's the idea. So we're gonna use that fact to write the equation of a parabola in this particular example where the focus is at zero, negative two. So right there is our focus and our vertex is at zero, zero. Okay, there's our vertex. And one thing to notice is that, see the vertex is where the parabola bends, right? Where it changes direction. The distance from the focus to the vertex and the vertex to the directrix, that distance is the same. So that means if we're going from the vertex to the focus here, that's two units. If I go up two units, that's gonna be where our directrix is. Okay, I'll just say D for directrix. So we know that our parabola is opening towards the focus, okay, something like that, and away from the directrix, okay, so it's kind of bending away from the directrix, opening towards the focus, and if I pick a point, let's just pick a, a random point here, let's just call this point x comma y, okay, this point right here, and we know that this perpendicular distance to the directrix has to be the same as this distance to the focus. Okay, now notice that when you're on this directrix, see how the y coordinate is always fixed at this height of two? So that means that this point right here is always gonna be a y coordinate of two. Now the x coordinate could be anything, so I'm just gonna call that x. You could be going way over here, negative four comma two, or positive four comma two. We don't know what the x value, but the y value is always two. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this distance equal to this distance. So what we have here is x minus zero squared plus y minus a negative two squared, take the square root. So that distance is equal to uh, this vertical distance here, which is x minus x squared and y minus two, the quantity squared, and we take the square root. So that's just using our distance formula, x two minus x one, the quantity squared, plus y two minus y one, the quantity squared, add those together and take the square root. Now all we have to do is let's just square both sides of this equation. Okay, so the square and the square root, those cancel one another out. Here we have x minus zero, which is just x, so we have x squared. Here we have, a, when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite, so that's gonna be y plus two squared. x minus x here is zero squared, is just zero, and then we have y minus two squared, y minus two squared. Okay, go, let's go ahead and see if we can simplify this down a little bit further. Uh, y plus two squared is y squared plus four y plus four. If you want, you can write this out twice, y plus two times y plus two in FOIL. Okay, and then over here we have y squared minus four y plus four. Now if we subtract y squared from both sides, you can see that those cancel one another out. If I uh, subtract four from both sides, you can see that these fours cancel one another out. And if I subtract four y from both sides, you can see this is gonna leave us with x squared equals negative eight y, and that's the equation of your parabola. Now you can rewrite it, I could divide both sides by negative eight or multiply both sides by uh, the reciprocal negative one eighth, and we could get y equals negative one eighth x squared, that's another way to write it, and that's the equation of your parabola. So if you wanna see a video that I did talking about the four different forms of the equation of a parabola, whether it's the vertex form, the general form, the intercept form, this form involving the focus, check out the video that I did right there and subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.